<laughs> Alright. So. You guys might think that we're done with this. We're not. Well, we are, but we're not. Because. I have to read all of these. All 222 bios. All 12 pages. So. I'm just going to get right into it. Henry Stickman. What could happen next? Renegade Copperbottom. Being the leader of the Top Hat Clan is something he takes a lot of pride in. Right Hand Man Reborn. He His defeat by Henry left him in bad shape. Cyber, cybernetic surgery brought him back stronger than ever before. Ellie Rose. After escaping from the wall, things have really opened up for her. Opened up. What is in store for her? Liam Rogers, an elite helicopter pilot. He usually calls dibs on being on the bigger helicopters. Vance Kite. He's heard it all. Don't try to talk your way out of an arrest with this guy. Jack Dugan, a sniper from New Zealand. He was specifically recruited by the Top Hat Clan in an Avengers-esque credit scene. Frankie Piazza. He dreamed of playing for the Boston Celtics, but his basketball skills were never good enough. Rip. Norm Hexter. Tech specialist in the government's ranks. He designed this EMP system. Howard Lipton. If he doesn't have his morning tea, then he's completely useless in the field. Victoria Grit. One of the strongest captains in to the Top Hat Raid. She has several successful missions under her belt. Gerald Gruff. His voice is about two octaves below... Yeah, octaves below average. I don't know what that means. I'm not an intellectual. Billy Brown. For seven years, he's never washed behind his ears. Yikes. Orban Lamp. He's... Very high strung being a soldier might not be good for might not be a good career path for him. Yes, I'm gonna stumble a lot in this video. Dan D. Lyrens. He's found the perfect combination of laundry detergents. The scent is the most amazing thing. Mayor Herschel Panzer. This is the first time his combat suit is in the field. He has a son working hard in the police force. Lucas Broomhandle, the youngest of the five siblings. He takes to a new hobby every week. June, July. She was born in August. Slow clap, puff balls. Timu Suomi. Su Su he grew up in Finland, so he doesn't require sunlight to function properly. <laughs> Ollie Andorhoin. Andorhoin. He's addicted to baking shows. He's always tried to bake along, but fails after 10 minutes. Gary Antrix. He's getting up there in age, but he's still a spry and any youngin. As any young in the squad. Mary Goldenford. He's always wanted to grow a cool beard, but never but it never quite comes in that way. Anthony Lee. When he was three, he ate a bumblebee. Rip your throat. Frederick Mutt Moonster. His hat is literally made of cheese. Nobody will bunk with him. All part of the plan. <laughs> Smooshed Sammy. His first day in the Top Hat Clan, he fell and got his hat smooshed. The name's just kind of stuck. Pablo Sleuth. An ace detective in the Top Hat ranks. There's no problem he can't eventually solve, and he's always armed. Captain H.J. Canterbury. He's one of the men in charge of information gathering. He has a brother who works in the police force. Thomas Chips. 
His father, Alan, is the co-founder of the Electronics Entertainment Expo. Filbert, Filbert. He's part of the checkpoint inspection team, but he really just wanted to sit on the train. Can't blame me there. Jim Pomb. He's the type of person that always passes out on a trip. I already feel my throat dying. Doris Johnston. He is a gemstone appraiser within the top hack line. He evaluates how much their stolen gems are worth. Mr. Job. He was going to start his own computer business, but someone beat him to the punch. Someone with the same name. Damn you, Steve. Joan Scone. Hold the phone. Is that Joan Scone? The one that always owns all the loans. <laughs> all the Paul. His high charisma made him a valuable member of the clan. Nobody has ever reported having issues with him. Stanley Grass. He has two blades of grass growing out of the top of his head, and he's very sensitive about it. I'm guessing it's turned away from the camera. Wallace Dagwood. He used to be on the front lines, but he took a bad hit to the face. He's been running more, more of a support role since. Ice Pick. Since he's stationed in a snowy environment, he wants a cool nickname. He wanted a cool nickname. Now he's just stuck with it. Stena Lundgren, a regular at this establishment. He comes in every day to read the newspaper and have a cup of coffee. Hemel Rikov, fresh out of a bar fight. He's been laying there for a solid three hours. Perry Sherman, he likes collecting the bottles from all the patrons. He works a long shift every day, so he's usually pooped. Mysterious v Vagabond, a director who's come in town lately. Seems like he's just, he's not passing through. Seems like he's not just, yeah. Kay and West, he was in the music production business, but one plagiarism later, one plagiarism accusation later, and he gave up and joined the Top Hats. Right hand man. He still serves as Reginald's number, or still serves as Reginald's number two. His extreme loyalty is what a Top Hat member should strive for. Sal Moan. He used to be in the Mafia, but he wanted to branch out there since he felt there were already too many Italians. Mr. Lincoln. He's not related to the president, just looks a lot like him. Whitehead. He wanted to be named after a snake, but most people think of pimples when they hear his name. Patty Pride. Purple is his favorite drink? What the hell? Henry Stick Man. He kept getting harassed for being a criminal. Eventually, he fed up and joined the Top Hats to make it true. B. Hampton. The head of Consujage at the Stickman Space Resort. He was one of the first Top Hats to convert and has helped with the transition of the others. Carlos Canadillo. He's bad at pool. Like, really bad at pool. I mean, just look at that technique. It's sad. Elizabeth Green. She's here on her honeymoon, one of the Stickman Space Resort's most common bookings. Lars Green. He's here on he's here with his wife for their honeymoon. Both of them have always wanted to go to space. Snowcap. He picked a far off station so he wouldn't need to do that much work. Still on payroll, so you're a smart idea. Clint Warranty. He was fed up driving trucks for a living, so he returned to smuggling. He's now one of the Top Hat's best drivers. Rip. Sorry. Mr. Macbeth. He's often been uh, compared to an ape, which he takes as a compliment. He hates it when people don't take him seriously. Blast Connors. His ego is one of the biggest in the entire Top Hat clan. Matilda Ivy. She's probably she probably has the coolest hair out of any of the top hat members and she knows it. 
MF Jones. If you mess with him, he will mess you up. His full name is Matilda Fillmore Jones. Bartolomeu. An opera singer who has refused payment after a show. The Top Hat Clan offered him the revenge he was seeking. Larry the guy. Why are you asking about cables? Alright. John's here now, too, just in case I actually lose my voice. And Ty is here, just in case I legit lose my voice and then I have to share my screen. And then I have to share screen with him, point it out there, and he just read. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go back on mute. You do the same, please. I'll let you know if I actually. I'll let you know if I need you to come in. Larry the guy. Why are you asking him about cables? He doesn't know anything about that. Can you? Mute, please. Mute, please. Thank you. What the hell? Grunt. She showed up to the top hat client dressed like this. They're not going to turn down a great fighter, though. Mischievous Martin. Part of the planning division in the top hat client. He used to run legendary pranks. Mr. Teal. He thinks of his hat as teal, but it's really more of a cyan. Boy. Can you not? Thanks. Like, boinks. This is just supposed to be me record recording. Okay. Ow. Mute, please. Don Mig Miguel. His RPG character owns a magical shop. Or was it a ship? General Gale Force. The results of the airship raid have seemed to let him on a large promotion. He's now a specialist in dealing with top hats. Charles Calvin. He has an he is experienced with multiple different types of flying vehicles. He gets brought in for special missions only. Missions with the boy Henry. Smoking Tyson, a chain smoker if I ever saw one. He smoked a pack in an hour. But it gives him some kind of power. What the hell? Martio. Every time he jumps, he makes a super loud noise like a tennis player. Luigi. Even though he's taller, he's always been in his brother's shadow. He doesn't really mind, though. His top hat is taller, too. That's good attention to detail. I love that. The witch. Top hat clan's main herbalist. She totally embraced her nickname so she can be rather odd. Sheriff, one of the many political figures in the Top Hat Clan. Or, one of the many political figures the Top Hat Clan has in their pocket. The Ruffman. The Ruffin. He usually out, he's usually out on the front lines for the Top Hat Clan. His hat has taken a lot of damage over the years. Tin Tin Tin. He can only say one word, but the details are unclear. I think time travel is involved. Wow. Gone Hunter. He loves rock, paper, scissors, but always throws rock. Losing never crushes his spirit, though. Ken Jampon. He's got a hole. He's got a hole in his face and is a master of rock, paper, scissors. People always feel weaker after losing to him. Carl Cross. One of the higher ups in the clan. She's extremely strict and by the books. You don't want to cross her. Stu Pendles. A series of events has caused him to owe money to crawl across. This is very bad for him. Bucket hat. B bucket hat. Mmm, pup balls. <laughs> Five eyes. He wears glasses, so he should be called four eyes versus the fifth eye. Tillin Circus. He was recruited out of the circus. He's an acrobatic wizard and really difficult to deal with in a fight. Crusher. He can crush an apple in his spare hand. That's about it. The Magician. He can pull your spleen right out of his hat. He used to be a professional wrestler, but 
that ended very poorly. Mr. Fat Lip. He's got a pretty bad lisp, and he's not actually a big fan of his nickname. But it's really hard to change these things. Scar. He dip said the name after the previous scar. Oh. Okay. He. Eduardo Giancarlo. A master of pickpocket. He actually sought out the top hack line and joined them. Usually it's the other way around. Jeremy Stinfeld. He lives in an apartment in New York and wonders what the deal with everything is. Jeff Consta. He's a very neurotic and crazy and constantly calling himself problems for his, causing problems for himself. Top bot. The top of the line robot built for missions that go hot. Hannibal Burns. You can never tell if he's paying attention because he always looks so relaxed. Smokestack. People People think of the nickname as is because of the hat, but actually it's because he's a pyromaniac. Oh god. Dusty. He has one of the longest runs as top as leader of the top hats. He, he moves so slowly that people often thought he was dead. Cloudface. Lost his position as leader because he couldn't understand the commands through his beard. Randy Radman. Ran the top hat clan through the party era. Things were a blast until they went bankrupt. Ronaldo the Brute. One of the fiercest leaders the top hat clan has ever had. Unfortunately, he lost, lost in yet? combat. No, if I did, I would have called on you. Well, you wouldn't be able to call on me if you lost your voice. I, it'd be when my voice starts to get scratchy. <laughs> Anyways, let me go back to breeding bios. Sil Wilford the Fourth, I think. He defeated the previous leader to claim his title. He just he despises incompetence. Terran Suave, one of the worst leaders in Top at the Top of Clan has ever had. He would launch raids that made no sense just for the thrill. Mr. Skyscraper. He's got a tall hat, so of course he needs a tall nickname. Earrings. Her earrings function for battle purposes, besides looks like in blind people with a bright flash. Please charge. Damn it. Give me one second. I'll go ahead and do that action. Red Crimson. He thinks his name is pretty awesome, but it's pretty redundant if you ask me. Is that supposed to be a joke, Puffballs? Yes, it's charging now. Now my phone won't die, and I can actually ch call on John if I need to. Jock Kingston. A bit of an elect a, a cringe leader. I don't know how to pronounce that. He always walked around with a gold deagle in his hand. Page six. If it would let me click on him. Thank you. Sven Stevenson. He took over leadership when the previous leader and right-hand man went missing. Gus Brinks. Hit Gus Bricks. Hit the Bricks, pal. You're done. He said that joke about 80 times during the rest. Sir Hattie. He's always crying. People think it's hard. It's from the loss of his old friends. Chip Crumb. He's got a crappy... He got some crappy second-hand top hat when he joined. He's been rethinking his membership lately. Brian Reynolds. He could have been a model, but he wanted to do something more important with his life. John Frog Pilskin. A master when it comes to stealth and infiltration. Greg. Gordon Eel Banks. A tech wizard. If it, it's electronic, he can work his magic. Wait, wrong one. Amelia Turtle Esteban, a demolitions expert. She loves blowing stuff up and hates when things take too long. Mr. Goldblum. He used to be a CEO before he was found uh, embezzling funds to the Top Hat Clan. Howie Howdeser. He was an orphan taken by the Top Hat Clan. They gave him a name in hopes he'd live up to it. 
He hasn't. Pink man. He's not affiliated with any, uh, with any chemistry teacher or cartilas. He just wears a pink hat. Ambert Downs. He's the first. This is his first tour, and he knew he'd be do. It'd be a doozy. Rupert Price. He's been going on more and more intense missions ever since his police days. Fort Sampson. He thought he'd have a unique name, but turns out he's met five other Borts. Or at least five other Borts. Mr. Thick. Are you kidding me? One of the Top Hat's best chefs. He makes the fattest burgers and juiciest steaks. I would love a steak from you. That sounds really bad. Peanut. It's ironic because he has a peanut allergy. Wow. The Leprechaun. He totally embraces his appearance and even adopted a terrible fake Irish accent to keep the ensemble. Allie Jean. Him be like wicked mental. Big up yourself. What the hell? And a ton Sparta. You can kick through a solid steel beam with ease. Right hand man blue. He's been rewired to Protect Henry at all costs. The top head loyalty is deep. Can it be completely removed? We found out it cannot be completely removed. Steven Willis. He doesn't do combat at all, but he's often needed to run as support. Wayne the Stone Jensen. Head is strong. He's been wanting to take leadership for a while. He just hasn't found the right opportunity. Rock cool Steve Dallas. He's been waiting to he's waiting for a leadership position to open up. He's not gonna let it slip out from under him now. Dill wait, let me check the story like this. Uh by the way, I should have said this earlier, but the stars up here mean how difficult they are. One star is easy, two star is sorta of hard, three star is practically impossible. Dill Tally. He's always wanted to go on a stealth mission. He tries to be stealthy in every mission. He goes on to make up for it. Ace Hamilton. She's been, she's an evening reporter at BCC. She's a fairly new reporter, but she's doing a great job. Burt Curtis, the head of communications in the Top Hat clan. He's lies in between the leaders and the rest of the recon team. Oh my god. I just thought of a brilliant idea. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you guys what it is in the next Among Us video, because, yeah. The Marvel Man. He's not strong like Marvels. He just likes Marvels. William Kendrick Cox. He's been a Top Hat member for over 40 years. His English has improved throughout the years, but he still has an accent. Bloodhound. A master of hunting down people and objects. He is the guy responsible for filling up the brig with bounties. Tauri Flandergus style. Is how is how wobble technique is something to behold. Sarah Confers, she's a firm leader that Al will one day try to take over the or AI will one day try to take over the world. Waxwell Gex, his parents name him after a lizard. Or was it a gecko? Pendel Toad, his favorite ice cream is Rocky Road. Elmer Panzeal. He moved to the middle of nowhere to start fresh. I don't think it's going so well. Marcus uh, Blobbeard. Talk like this. He does I sure why I am. Or not sure why I am. Gremlin. She's extremely scrappy and feisty. It is rumored she grew up on her own in the woods. Mr. Villain. Speaks and behaves in 1920 movie, like a 1920 movie villain. I don't know if that just started before or after he joined the Top Hats. Let me, let me click on him. There we go. Hazmat. He wanted a hazmat suit. He's prim, he's primitively claimed his name, but knows how long, but doesn't know how long, who knows how long it will take to get the suit. Arnold Schwartz, an elite member, his commanding voice is perfect for leading men into battle. Jeannie Fredrickson, 
He used to be a mayor, but fled when plans to smuggle a large diamond out of the museum were discovered. He is Mayor Fredrickson. Yep. Mayor Fredrickson. And, uh, Well, now we know his first name, Gene. Albert Poshley, one of the wealthiest Top Hat members. He tends to fund most of the expensive operations for, the high, for high profit. Jack Hugman, an up-and-coming member of the Top Hat clan. He has yet to make a name for himself. Paul Ascot, his entire career has just been delivering bad news. Holy cap. The hole in his cap was caused by a laser accident. The bookie. A man in charge of cooking the books in the Top Hat clan. He's a big stickler for rules and keeping things in order. Chuck Wellington. His great-grandfather is the inventor of beef, allegedly. Fred Fla Finestone. He runs around barefoot and shoots a super loud catchphrase. People tend to avoid him. Dr. Vin Chip, Dr. Vin Chip, or Chip Instillin. Dr. Vin Chip Instillin, a solo practitioner that specializes in cybernetic surgery. She travels the world in her boat, which doubles as her workstation. Reference, a short range spirit if you are punched by him, you are sent to an alternate timeline. He can also swap places with Henry. Mac, da Mac Dandy. His forgery skills are top of the line. His forged paintings are a big source of income for the top hat clan. Hambag. He was down on his luck selling ham out of a bag when he was found by the top hats. Blueberry. He... He only eats blueberries. No one has ever seen him eat anything else. Thomas Chester Shire. He preferred to when Henry was the leader of the Top Hat Clan. Hat Girl. She kind of just appeared and joined the ranks. People have so said they saw her in a spaceship or something. I love the Hat Kid reference. I've never played it, but I love that reference. Handsome Harold. He's in charge of keeping the Top Hat collection of information organized. Jeffrey Plump. He's always been an ideas guy. His head is his head is just big though. He it's not because of an extra large brain. Miss Dealmeyer. She's very proud of her name, but she's too lazy to check if it's ever been used before. Barbershop Bill. Even though he wears a barbershop hat, he sucks at cutting hair. He's even the worst. And he's even worse at singing Pelkia. I don't know. Alfonso Cruz. Hurrying the sh sound is very important. He gets offended if you pronounce it Alfonso. So it's Alfonso Cruz. Sorry, man. Floyd Winters. Unfortunately, his friend Harry doesn't show up in this game. Oops. Okay, I'll check. We'll go to the end and check if I can find Harry. Is this? Yeah. I'll, at the end of the video, I'll check if I can find Harry. Dave Panpa. He spent a long time in that top hat cell. His life will probably never be the same. Poor Dave. Matteo Gertschiv. One of three people at the wall that actually knows how to operate a tank. Dimitri Jonas Petrov. Well, has quite a few teeth in the escape incident, so now he now speaks with a lisp. Ten pence. He joined the Top Hat clan at only ten p to to his name. He remembers. He keeps the name to remember his origins. Weak sauce. He's been on the verge of getting kicked out of the clan multiple times. Mister Mister Angry. This guy has an actual anger problem. It doesn't help him fight or anything. It just mostly 
it just mostly distracts everyone. DMS Pence guy. His first time ever being out of the country. He didn't know there was much there is this much green in the whole galaxy. Don Torkov. He has a personal vendetta against the Topak clan, so he's made sure to come with them on this mission. Todd Tater. He used to be a Spudson, but now he's made it to the Terry family. Or Tater family. Bill Cook. He joined the military and lived in a house with way too many people. I'm starting to lose my voice, but I'm gonna I'm gonna fight through it. We don't have much left. Conard Bukowski. He joined the military with his twin. They've always been on missions as a pair. Yeah, I've been reading for 30 minutes. Kevin Bukowski. He joined the military with his twin. They've always been a pair. Bob Pants. His father was a pants salesman, but he went broke in tradition. He went broke tradition and went to the military. Paul Penn. He claims to be related to Shen to Sean Penn, but has never been able to prove it. Okay, person. Sure you're related. Even Petro Eva. He forgot to switch out of the Yunkisha before coming to the jungle and sprinting up a bunch of stairs. I'm guessing that's a Yushinka? I don't know. Grigori Ola. His arm is still freshly broken after being hit by a car during the escape incident. Rip your arm. Stone face. Don't ever get any emotion out of his face. Quincy Tattle Muffin. His family has been in the top back line for generations. They never really seem to make a name for themselves, though. Fred Worst. He's really he really is just the worst. Nana Popo. She's been going on a mountain climbing expedition in the area. Nobody has attempted to map the mountains there. Oh! Oh, it's Nancy. So Nana and Popo. Okay. Ice climbers. I only know them from Smash Brawl. And, er, from Smash Bros. Natasha Talden. She hangs out with her pal Travis at the tavern every week. Maybe one day she'll get the courage to ask him out. Travis DeGroote. Lost his eye in an explosive incident. He used to be a mercenary, but gave up that when, his li when the life, when the updates stopped coming. Josh Taylor. He's really excited to be part of a big mission. You could say he's a bit overconfident. Drake Camper. A relatively new recruit. He hasn't learned all the ropes yet, still including the one about loose li Lips sinking ships? I don't know. Oh, wait, okay. Quentin Owl Blaster. He has a couple greenhorns placed under his watch, and he's sick of babysitting them. Hank Stockman. He keeps a calm. He keeps calm in any situation, or at least it appears this way because his, of his sweet shades. Hayden Brock. He gets bored easily and realizes that making bets that making bets makes things more interesting. Mad lad. He starts the day with a nice can of per cow energy drink. <laughs> Andrew Cobbler, the engineer in charge of a big of the big boy. He got stuck on an issue with it and was never able to fix it in time for the raid. Dijana Polangelo, the main operator of the big boy. He's a, He'd been coming to terms with not being able to pilot big boy into the raid today. Oh my god, I clicked on him three times. Timothy Turner. He used to have two imaginary friends with him when he was in... Oh my god, Tim Tur Tim from the Family Odd Parents? Oh, the references in this game. Brock Hallard. Uh one more tour, and then I can go home and be with my family. I'm almost done. My voice is getting very bad, but I'm almost done. Elias Butte... 
Chin. Elias Butt Chin. He's a he mans one of the many CCC mobile units. There are hundreds of these scattered throughout the world. Phantom. His suit allows him to turn invisible, and he's able to pinpoint locations for nuclear strikes with his rifle. Jose Gonzalez. He's been a, a he's been a gamer since 2008, but only plays free to play games. You'll never catch him wearing the deep. You can catch him wearing the default hat. Sorry, Peter Maryville. He always wears a helmet. You never know when a state when a stray bullet can come from flying. Ogre Crip. He's pretty good. He's a, he has pretty good stats for the for the cost. He's also pretty good with can't be targeted adapt. What? Beans. He's just been thinking about those beans. Curly Brown, one of the smartest top hat members. He has a PhD in cartoon logic and physics. <laughs> Dr. Glass. He's not actually a doctor. Actually, nobody calls him a doctor. Can we get this title changed, please? Give me one second. Sorry, I got a drink right next to me just in case my throat gets actually destroyed. Skeev. This guy is steedy. Even for a top hat member. Keep him... Keep this on the DL. I... But I heard they're planning to cut ties with him. Okay, so you're gonna, they're gonna cut him. Barry Bra, when it comes to frantically clamoring for those weapons, he can't be beat. Bia number three five hundred three, one of the many Bias. He always strives to improve in his hot dog eating and bug collecting skills. Ellery, a fusion of Henry and Ellie. They have fierceness of Ellie, the fierceness of Ellie and the luck of Henry. But my question is, if this is a Steven Universe reference, is it that never never mind? If you watch Steven Universe, you'll, you'll get the joke I'm trying to make. Kabitz, he towers over his other top head members. He will always engage in pre-fighting banter. Also, okay, let's. I'll stop. Pedo top, pop top. He couldn't figure out how to get his top, how to fix his top hat, so now people call him Pop Top. Cool Joe. He managed to make it back after being locked up at the wall for several years. Good thing there was a breakout. Wait. Okay, I thought that might have been him. Orange Hat Kid. He's thought of a dance that also works as a great exercise move. Isn't dancing a great exercise regardless? Whatever. Toby Mac. This guy is just too cool for school and the ladies just can't stay away. What the hell? Pasta Primavera. He's performed a crew here in the Top Hat Clan. They all got their start in Italy. Virgo Multi... Virgo Multiga 20. Part of a small Italian crew. They all join the Top Hat Clan at the same time. Permazal Lange. Him and his crew joined the Top Hat Clan at the behest of their boss. Link. He used to be a hero, but then he took an arrow to the chest and was hospitalized for three weeks. So that's Link reference? That's Legend of Zelda reference? Long. He just lost the game. Oh, okay. Okay. Crabman. He claims the batteries in his back pocket give him great dancing abilities. Sure they do. Conky Dong. If he shoots you, it's gonna hurt. That is Donkey Kong, baby. Mr. Unstoppable. He's been extremely lucky since he joined the Top Hats. Will it last? Jonathan Bravo. I don't know if it's intentional or not, but he sounds exactly like Elvis Presley. Cowboy. He couldn't come up with a very interesting nickname. He just got fixated on the on the word cowboy, so he, so he settled. Siggy. His top hat 
is actually a giant cigarette. He's gonna make sure it stays away from fire. Tommy Partridge. He will help the Top Hat raid plans by creating animatics that break down all the details of the plan to aid success. Dude, I'm on the last one! Sleepy Dog. Hang around with him for too long and you'll start acting funny. And there you go. After about 40 minutes of me reading and my throat actually starting to die on me, we have read all 222 bios in completing the mission and serious my throat is actually starting to die on me. Now, like I said, we are going to try and find... Where was it? It was... His friend, Harry, in this one. Harry. Harry, here we go. Harry Butts, this is who it was. Yes, Harry Butts. I am 99% sure Harry Butts is the guy we were looking for. And now... Yeah, it was Harry Butts who we were looking for. So, thank you guys for watching. And if I my throat does not die, I could live stream Among Us tonight at about s we'll go 6 p.m. local time, 6 p.m. Central. You guys do the the conversion for yourself. I don't care. I'll live stream with you guys, but I'm gonna have to turn my gameplay off. There's gonna be no gameplay for when we start. You can join the game because I'll have the code. I'll have the code on screen, and that is about it. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. And by next time, I mean later tonight.